You can use permissions in ActiTime to give your employees access to certain information and functionality and restrict access to other parts of the product. Let's start with the first group called Management Permissions. You can review and configure them right in the user list here or in the Permissions tab of a user profile. For the three permissions highlighted here, you can define which teams and users, as well as customers, projects and tasks they will apply to. Select which teams and users our new manager will be able to access. Next, repeat the process with customers, projects, or tasks. This will essentially define what information this manager will be able to see in ActiTime interfaces and on reports. Manage Accounts and Permissions is a super permission that grants access to all users and the entire scope. The second group of permissions works a bit differently. The entire time track permission allows users to track time to their work assignments only. The three remaining permissions apply globally to all users in the system. By the way, you can see a detailed description of all user permissions right in the user profile or in the user list. For more information on how permissions and ActiTime work, please check out our user guide or contact us.